before we get into the video, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not subbed to me by now, my content is fire from stop motions, news videos, reviews, music occasionally. All my social media accounts are linked down below. And now, let's get straight to it. Okay, so we've got a little bit of legacy evolution news to cover in this video, people. Some toy leaks that happened earlier today. First up here, I want to cover this leader class, Dreadwing. He is obviously a repaint of Skyquake that just came out like a month and a half, two months ago. And he's a pretty good color scheme. I think some people were pointing out, I also agree with this, he could use some more gold up in there. But other than that, it's a pretty good repaint. The gun is new. You get a red sword, which I'm not sure if that is accurate to what... I can't remember if that if he had a red sword in the show. I don't think so. I think it was just, what, a silver sword? Um, so I don't know where they got that from, but it, it doesn't look bad. And the jet mode looks pretty decent in that dark blue with silver and red and gold highlights on it. So, yeah, it's a pretty good repaint. Um, I, like, I did my Skyquake review. Um, Y'all know my thoughts on it if you watch that video my thoughts on this mold i think it's decent but i think the accessories suck um I, he just doesn't feel like a polished leader class in my opinion so i'm, I'm gonna be passing on this mold unless if they do a machine wars star scream i would kill for a machine war star scream there's a lot of repaints they could do with this mold i'm thinking they're probably going to be doing a g1 sky quick at some point that could be a retool and not just a remold or not a remold repaint um so i think there's a lot of potential with this mold and if they they do a machine wars star scream i would definitely definitely want to pick that up but yeah not a bad repaint for sure uh, I won't be getting it, but I'm sure a lot of people out there are definitely interested in this because I've seen a lot of people posting online and commenting that they were waiting just for this repaint and skipping the Skyquake figure because obviously Dreadwing, he had a more prominent role than Skyquake did in the Prime show, so definitely understandable. And the last Legacy Evolution leak, or Studio Series 86, I'm not sure, uh, these are both from an eBay auction. I don't think I said that before, but both of these were leaked via eBay auction and we have our first look at buzzworthy bumblebee studio series 86 dying prowl figure it's just two images here but you pretty much get the gist of this figure it's basically a remold slash repaint of the earthrise mold from 2020 very hard to get very famously hard to get from that amazon two-pack with the iron hide i was able i was able to get that two-pack it was crazy i i didn't even pre-order it okay i ordered it well i think i did pre-order i think i pre-ordered it like at the last minute like a few days or a week before the two-pack actually dropped so what happened happened was I pre-ordered it in I think late September early October and the thing got delayed it shipped but then it got delayed for a few weeks then it got delayed again and I didn't get it until like early or mid January of 2021 it took like three months to get the thing because it was delayed I'm assuming Amazon was trying to find stock of it to send to me and I heard a lot of orders got canceled if I'm remembering things correctly with that so that was a crazy time and uh, I'm glad it's getting re-released but you know in this form I think they could have done a lot more the main complaint I've been seeing is the head sculpt they could have done some smoke and orange paint up in there in the mouth and paint the eyes orange instead of the regular blue this face just looks really weird and wonky without those effects in there i mean i don't know it looks like he's constipated or it looks like he's going through some sort of hemorrhoid pain like i, don't, I honestly don't know why they decided to do the head sculpt like this and not include any of the dying or battle damage details on the head the only battle damage detailing you get is on the chest right there from when he gets shot it would be nice, I hope. It seems like they have a, um, a port there for a blast effect, so I hope he comes with a blast effect in the 2-pack to sort of make up for the price point because it, it does feel a little light. Um, you know, I think having an entry and exit point blast effect would sell this more but i'm not even banking on that because they couldn't even do the head sculpt the right way and the battle damage on the figure itself the right way but hey at least there is a silver lining here at least 
they replaced all the clear plastic on the lower legs and on the back section with solid plastic and they painted the windows blue. Hasbro, if anybody from Hasbro who works for them is watching this video, please stop doing clear plastic, at least on these cartoon or comic book generations figures. We do not need it. Just do solid plastic and paint it whatever color the windows or the translucent stuff is. We don't need clear plastic unless if it's like light piping or if you're trying to do some energy or energon type effect. So this is a step in the right direction. I hope they keep doing this like the, what they did with with uh, Cliff Jumper and Cup. They got to keep doing this because we all know how trash and sensitive clear plastic is compared to every other plastic and they use it a lot very excessively and they used it a lot on this figure here so i'm glad they remedied that at least they couldn't do the battle damage the right way but they definitely got rid of that dreaded clear plastic and the car mode you still got those ugly white pins i don't know if the plastic is unpaintable or what but i wish they would have painted that silver so it blends in better um, but yeah, I'm loving the no clear plastic, the repaint, uh, with the b bright blue windows and the, uh, bar at the front of the hood is painted <clears throat> pretty nicely. You can see on the midsection area and the crotch area where they added the extra paint that is cartoon accurate and accurate to the 86 movies, so that's great too. There's a couple pluses to this, you know, no, cl no clear plastic, some added paint, uh, but there's a lot of minuses to this thing, and it comes off really bland in my opinion so hopefully the other uh character that they chose for this two pack is a bit better i hope it's not just earthrise ironhide you know i i hope it's somebody more interesting from the 86 movie i mean we just got a new ironhide a few months ago and that's not even hard to find so i hope it's not that so i hope it's maybe a battle damage uh studio series 86 ratchet because we do know that a regular one is coming in the voyager class line for studio series later on this year or early 2024 so it would be interesting to have a battle damage version be released first. But your guess is as good as mine on the second figure in this two-pack with Prowl. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think about this Prowl figure? Who do you think is going to be in the two-pack? What do you think about the uh, leader class repaint of Dreadwing? And are you guys going to be getting this? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. Cannot wait to see Rise of the Beast tomorrow. I just did a community post showing off some photography I did for the movie. Go check it out. Uh, seeing it tomorrow, 3.30. 30 p.m. Cannot wait. Y'all know I have been waiting for this movie for two and a half, three years now, ever since it was announced in early 2020. So I cannot wait. The hype is real. Uh, I've seen a lot of Transformers fans seeing this movie the past couple days, coming out the theater, writing their posts on social media, YouTube, whatever, and saying how this is some of the best Transformers work we've ever gotten in media. One of the best, or, or the best Transformers movie we've gotten. So that hypes me up a lot that the fans are loving it i'm sure i'll love it too you know there's still a slight chance that i might not like it but i i seriously doubt that but yeah i'm really excited cannot wait and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye